Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Prophet Obiajulu, Obi Obiajulu, the Senior Pastor, Anchor of Restoration International Ministry, aka Evidence Center. By the special grace of God, the Lord has given me a word for people today. This evening, God is about to transform your life. God is about to change your story. So from the comfort of my office in the church, I am about to release to you your testimony. Whatever it is that has been holding you down, oppressing you in this season of this lockdown is about to let you go. So I want to take this time right now to invite your friends, your well-wishers, your neighbors to join you in this wonderful broadcast because God is about to transform your life and victory is about to come your way. That evil that has been fighting you, that power that has been suppressing you, tonight by the special grace of God, it shall be destroyed. I see the hand of God already working miracles for you. Testimony is already coming. Wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, there is no problem that has overtaken you because every problem has a solution and when God gives the solution, God sends his apostles or prophets with solutions to the people. I came as a prayer answer this evening for somebody. And let me tell you, by the special grace of God, your life, your destiny shall be transformed. And victory will come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, my name is Prophet Obiajulu Obiajulu. If you have your Bible, turn with me quickly to Psalm 69. I'm going to be talking to us briefly on a topic I have titled, Oh Lord, Be My Help. The Bible said in Psalm 69, reading from verse 1, it says, Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in thy mire where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for God. Praise God. You see, anytime there is an issue in your life, there is one thing that you must do. You must cry out for help. When you cry out for help, definitely help will come because help comes from the Lord. The Bible said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where is coming my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He that keepeth Israel will neither sleep nor slumber. He that keepeth me will not sleep nor slumber. When you cry for help, help definitely will come. When you tell God you need his help, you need his touch, definitely it will come. Now, the Bible said in the time of Egypt and Israel, when the children of God, that is the Israelites, were in captivity, they had to cry. According to Exodus chapter 3 verse 7, the Bible said he has heard their voice. Now, when we are in the middle of this pandemic, we think that there is no hope. Many of us think that there is no hope. There is no way we can succeed anymore. There is no how we can come out of the issues of our life. Now, listen to me, child of God. God never created you with an issue. God never made you to be a problematic person. God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to be favored. And that is why he created you in this world to become a personality here on earth. Now, there is a reason why God created you. And that reason is to bring help to those who are helpless. Now, child of God, if you, who is supposed not to be helpless, comes to be in a helpless situation, what do you do? The Bible said, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Now, this is not a conclusion. This is actually a question that demands an urgent answer from you as a child of God. Now, listen to me, child of God. What do you do in your time of help? You cry out. We have a heavenly father. We have a father who is willing to help us. We have a father who is ready to set us free. We have a father who is ready to break the yoke of darkness and break protocols in our life. We have a father who can change our situation. We have a father who can bring about miracles in our life. We have a father who can make sure that anything that we want will come to pass in our life. Let me tell you, child of God. The Bible said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in the prophet and you shall prosper. God gave me a mandate as a prayer answer to somebody. Now, if you believe that God can change your situation, if you believe that God can give you victory, if you believe that God can break the pattern in your family, if you believe that God can change the evil yoke in your house, then get ready for there shall be a transformation in your life. There shall be victory. Victory is set for those who believe. The the Bible said to those that believe he has given power, power to be called the sons of God. Now this power manifests on the 
glory of the people that believe in him. Now, let me tell you, child of God. He said, cry unto the Father. When you cry to your Father, your Father definitely will run to your help. The Bible said, call upon me in the days of trouble, and I shall answer according to Psalm 50 verse 15 he said call upon me in the days of trouble and i shall answer for my name's sake it means that the word of god cannot be broken therefore he is going to always answer us he's going to always come to our aid he's going to always run to our response now god does not fail and his words are a and amen his words are unbreakable i want you to note that the word of god is unchangeable. I want you to note that somebody that is out there, somebody out there who needs encouragement needs to see that encouragement in your life. That person out there needs to see that encouragement in your destiny. You need to encourage that person. You who believe in God, you who are called by his name, you that are called the sons of God. I want you to note that as a reason of the anointing connected to you, the anointing upon your life, you are a different personality. You are a different person. You are a royal priesthood. So people depend on your testimony for them to testify. Now, as a child of God, what do you do in your closet? Especially in this time of of need, this time of pandemic, this time when the world seems to be coming to an end, this time when everybody's running head to scatter, this time when every man, every woman is saying, what shall I do? Now, this is what you do. You cry to the Lord. Now, Psalm 69 is a, is a, is a, is a psalm that is prayed or rather chanted in the time of need. The Bible said in verse 4, it said, those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully. Though I have stolen nothing, I still must restore it. Now you see the wickedness of men. The Bible said the heart of men is desperately wicked. Who can know it? That is why in this time of this pandemic, a lot of things are happening. People are coming with different kind of theories of what is happening. People talk about what power. People talk about the, the, the about technical virus. People talk about the 5G. But I want you not to get confused. Listen to me. Whatever is happening in the physical first has been transacted spiritually in the spiritual because it is the spiritual that controls the physical therefore whatever you see happening today is as a result of something that has been spawned in the spiritual already therefore this is why you as a child of God you must be spiritually inclined and prepared to take the bull by the horn to fight the good fight of faith and to do that which is unexpected and that which the devil never expected you to do now when you are radical you become classical now radicality is the mother of classicality if you must be different in life you must take a drastic step that others have not taken in your family don't be among those who cry don't be among those who are weary don't be among those who say there is no hope For the bible says, when the when they say there is a casting down we shall say there is a lifting up so therefore it is your season. It is your time for breakthrough. It is your time for turnaround. It is your time for separation from those, from the people. Separation from the people who think that God cannot change their situation. It is a time for you to be set apart. Let me tell you. When you come into Christ, you have been given an authority. And this authority has given you an edge over believers too. Therefore, in a situation where the plague eats the believer, it should not eat you, but it will eat you when you do not have the um, audacity to exercise your authority that was given to you. I repeat, the plague will eat you if you don't have the audacity to exercise the authority that was given to you. So, this is a time of exercising our authority, exercising our faith in God. I want to pray for you wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice that this is your time, this is your season. God will change your situation. Breakthrough will come. Testimony will come. That yoke shall be totally broken in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm speaking to people who are hearing me right now. Wherever you're watching me, distance is not a barrier. 
that change you have been asking for will come because God is about to deliver you. Now, if we go to Psalm 91, I'm going to run through this very psalm very quickly so that you can understand what the Lord has promised us as his children. The Bible said, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Like I told you before, it is only a question that needs that demands answer. This question demands an authority to answer it. This is why God told me, he said, we, we, should, we should fight the good fight of faith. The Bible, the Bible told me that. And this good fight of faith is not a fight for the weak. Amen. It's not a fight for the weak. So, child of God, where are you right now? Are you oppressed? Are you going through one challenge or the other? Is the enemy fighting you? Are you, are you seeing different kind of evil in the dream? Are you sick? Are you facing witchcraft attack? Are you experiencing setback? Are you having delays and denial? Are you having financial disappointment? Are you having disappointment in marriage? Are you barren? Are you under the siege of the enemy? Have, have your family been experiencing ancient causes? I want to tell you today by the special grace of God that those causes will come to an end because God gave me the word and the word is what I'm about to release to you. The word is about what I am, is what I'm about to speak to you. The word is what I'm about to tell you, child of God. The secret to end this pandemic in your life, the secret to and the cause in your life. The secret to break the yoke in your destiny. That is what I'm about to do for you now. I want you to share this video wherever you are. Share it right now. As you share it, the hand of God is going to give you testimony. The hand of God is going to bless you. The hand of God is going to change your situation. And hear me. As you share it, victory is coming. And listen to me wherever you are. In case you are sick and you are having any form of attack, any evil oppression, now don't forget to send a WhatsApp message to the number on the screen. God is going to be changing your life and giving you victory. Now, Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty and shall say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. My God whom I trust. Now, listen to me. Before you can trust this God, you must have tested him. And in testing God, you must enter into his holies of holies, into his place, that place where he dwells. The Bible said, those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Now, when you are in the secret place of the Most High, it happens to be an advantage you have over the enemy. Praise God. So, now listen to me, child of God. First, you must enter. This is the solution. Entering into the secret. That's what the Bible said. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added unto you. Every other thing. Don't start seeking that money. Don't seek that healing. No, no, no. You seek first. You must leave. The Bible said Saul went in search for the, the, the donkey. And when he went to search, he now looked for the prophet. Now, why was he looking for the prophet? Was looking for the authority. Was looking for the authority. Was looking for the anointing. He wanted to have an encounter. And the moment he had that encounter with the authority, the moment he had the encounter with God, there was an in, in, in eventual change that brought about royalty to his destiny. Now, this is what happened here. The first step to ending this pandemic is seeking God. And when you seek God, don't just seek him from afar. The Bible said, come close to him. Now, when you come close to him, what do you do? The Bible said, he said, those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High, dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Now, when you are in the secret place of the Most High, Oppression will not come your way. Sickness will not come your way. Untimely death will not come your way. Tears will not come your way. Sorrow will not come your way. Um, marital delay will not come your way. Financial disappointment will not come your way. The powers of darkness will not hold you bound. You know why? Because you have an edge and an authority over the enemy. Today, I want to declare Every authority you have, or rather, every authority that belongs to you that the enemy has stolen, that has made you lose your authority to speak the word, today it shall be destroyed, and you, 
and your family shall be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God taking over. I see God giving you victory already. I see God ending the affliction in your life. He said, He shall say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Now, what does that mean? My refuge and my fortress. It means now you have tested God. You have seen the authority. You have tested God. You have seen His power. Now you can attest. You can testify. No wonder the Bible said we are made whole by the words of our mouth. The words of our mouth. Very important. The things we say. Now, we are made whole by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Now, the words of our mouth is given by the authority and the power in the tongue. Now, the spoken word in the tongue gives you the edge over the enemy. Now, listen to me. If you are ready to speak the word into existence, that word is about to come alive. Remember, God said, let there be light and there was light now therefore you can speak to the pandemic you can speak to the sickness you can speak to the air you can speak to the light you can speak to oppression you can speak to the land in the air you can talk to that demon and say leave me and let me go now the bible said he has given us authority matthew 18 18 he said whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven what we lose on earth is lose in heaven therefore if you bind sickness it is bound when you lose it it is loosed Jesus told the woman with the issue of blood, Woman, thou art loosed, and truly she was free. Now, surely it shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, the birds of the air, which is some wizard, and from the perilous pestilence. You know, these are evil times. These are perilous times. A lot of things are happening. I want to pray for you. In this perilous season, as you say amen and you share this video, in this perilous season, every perilous evil that has been doctored to stop you by the power in the name of Jesus, I declare it destroyed. You are free. You are free. Type that amen seven times and hear me that evil is over in the name of Jesus Christ. God is setting somebody free already. Yes, you are about to get a testimony that will shock you. You are about to get a victory that you never fought for. Know that Jesus said, we are more than conquerors. Listen to me, child of God. You are more than conqueror. Your family more than conqueror. Your household more than conqueror. Hear me. After now, the battle is won. God has given you victory in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said continually, he said, he shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wing shall you take refuge. Under the wing of God. Now, have you ever seen the chicken protect his cheek? Now, when the chicken protects his cheeks, it covers it from the fowler, the hawk that flies about looking for the cheek to take. And that's how God protects you from the evil that flies around. COVID-19 flying around will not see you. Yes, Coronavirus will not see you. Flu will not see you. Malaria will not see you. Typhoid will not see you. HIV will not see you. Diabetes will not see you. Why? Because God has covered you. He said, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noon. You see, God has already given us victory. God has already given you testimony. God has already placed you in a situation of testimony. So therefore, why are you crying today? Why are you crying? Why are you saying, God, why? Why are you saying, God, why me? He has already given you authority. So why cry? You don't need this crying anymore. You don't need to cry no more because God has given you victory. Child of God, the authority is already there. Exercise the authority. Amen. See, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, or the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right hand. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Now, I don't care how it was programmed in the air. I don't care how it was designed against you. But if you say amen, if you type that amen right now and share this video one more time, listen to me. That battle is coming to an end. That evil is destroyed. That yoke is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, the Bible said, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. Like I told you before, the Bible says something. 
And I'm going to go quickly to that place. In, in the book of um, Psalm chapter 23, from verse 6, it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Now, it is not trouble. Goodness and what? Mercies shall follow me. It didn't say sickness, trouble, pain. It didn't say diseases. It didn't say delay and deny. It didn't say the oppression of the wicked. It said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I should dwell where? Not in the marketplace, not in the clubhouse, not in the bar, not in, in, in the parliament. He said, I should dwell in the house of the Lord. I have my house, but yet there is a place. Oh my God, there is joy in my heart when they say, let us go to the house of the Lord. That was the words of David. And that should be your word, because that is the watch word for you as a child of God. I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So now, when you make the Lord your dwelling place, remember the Bible said, the name of the Lord is the strong tower, and the righteous run it into it, and they are saved. Therefore, child of God, you run to God, and you are saved. You don't run to God and have problems. No, you run to God and you are delivered. You run to God and the evil is over. You run to God and testimony comes. You run to God and you get back to you. run to God and the enemies are brought to justice. You run to God and everything working against you is scattered and destroyed. Yes, that is the word of God. The word of God cannot be broken. Amen. It cannot be broken. Praise God. So you see, it is clearly written here, clearly written here, that God will deliver you. Amen. And I see that deliverance coming. When you make him your dwelling place, everything will begin to work in your favor. Amen. Hallelujah. So you see, now, when you dwell in the presence of God, God now gives assignments to the, to the angels. Now, this assignment given to the angel is not for the angel to go and buy food. It's not for the angel to get groceries. It's not for the angels to get clothes. No, it's for the angels to work for you. The Bible said here, it said, it said, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your place, for he shall give his angel charge over you. <laughs> no evil shall befall you, and no plague, no plague. What plagues are we experiencing today? What issues are we experiencing today that are making Christians not even remember to go to the house of God anymore? The plague and the pestilence has taken away our authority as Christians. But today, you hear the word of God, it is coming to an end. If you say amen, victory is sure. If you say amen, testimony is coming your way. If you say amen, that breakthrough is coming. If you say amen, God will deliver you. God will change your situation. God will break the yoke. God will settle you. Amen. I see settlement coming already. I'm going to rush it really quick because I'm about to round up. He said, In their hands they shall bear you up. Bear you up. Lift you up. Carry you up. Raise you up. <laughs> now when they raise you up you are above the trials of the enemy you are above the, the attack of the wicked you are above witches and wizards you are above the yoke of the enemy you are above their, the sorrow they plan for you you are above all he said they will raise you up do you believe it? and then he bear, they bear you in your hands, raise you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample on that foot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Not only will God deliver you, he will also honor you. What more can we ask for? What more can we ask for? What more? Nothing again. That yoke is broken already. That evil comes to an end. And finally, the Bible said in verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Children of God, with long life, God will satisfy you and show you his salvation. Your victory is sure. Your testimony is sure. You are about to get a breakthrough. Yes, 
It's happening already. I see victory coming your way. Testimony coming your way. If you believe it, I want you to type in seven mighty amens and God will give you that testimony. The breakthrough is sure. Your testimony is sure in the name of Jesus. I see victory everywhere. I see you being delivered. I see the hand of God taking over in your life today in Jesus' name. I want to pray for you real quick. Now, in case you are sick, this yoke of the enemy has been placed on you. I want you to know that the anointing is contagious and distance is not a barrier. It will touch you wherever you are right now by the power of God. Receive your healing. Be free from the yoke. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. For you have made the Lord your strong refuge. Therefore, I command the angels to take charge right now. The angels on assignment to protect you, to take charge right now and give your victory. You are free in Jesus name in case you have not given your life to Jesus Christ I want you to pray this prayer quickly with me say Lord Jesus come into my life I renounce the devil with all his works and ways I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior give me grace to follow you now and forever amen God bless you my name is prophet Obi Ajolo, Obi Obi Ajolo. I'm the senior pastor, Anchor of Restoration International Ministry, aka Evidence Center. Now, this church is situated at number six, Omo Fuju Street, opposite Infant Jesus Academy, Asaba, Delta State, Nigeria. Now, we have our schedule of services, but due to the pandemic, we have changed our schedule and as a result of that i attend to people on whatsapp on call you can see the number on your screen i want you to call in and god will give you a victory testimonies coming your way remember this no matter what the matter is you will matter most where it matters most jesus loves you and so do i stay tuned stay connected invite your friends to always like this i remain prophet obi ajilo obi ajilo the panoramic seer god bless you all in jesus mighty name Amen.